Hello everybody, it's Mick from Jester Bushcraft. It's been quite a while now since I've done a video and I apologise for that. But I've uh, I've been moving house, as a lot of you will know. Um, we're in the new house now. We've still got boxes everywhere, garages full to the rafters and all my kits buried somewhere. But this bit of woodland that we're going through now is literally across the road from where we live and uh, I just thought we'd come down and have a look and see what's uh, see what's around here. I have been to these woods before but it's a woodland Nathan has as well yeah um, I've been to these woodland before but I'm going to be coming here a lot more often to look for fungi and various wildlife and what have you so um, go that way so I just thought you'd like to come along and have a look at this woodland that's very close to where we live. Like I say, I apologise for the lack of videos and the lack of responses to your comments, but uh, I've been very busy decorating these two uh, bedrooms. So we'll uh, we'll carry on down here and we'll uh, have a see what we can find. Okay, Nathan, keep going. See if you can spot any birds or anything. Squirrel. Shout out if you see anything. But you might run away. Well, then you have to be quiet. Stealth mode. I've just recently had my birthday, and uh, I got a Ray Mears book, which I've been uh, which I've been reading through. Really good book. It's the Ray Mears Outdoor Survival Guide. I'm going to be doing a review on that. But uh, something Ray Mears got involved with very early on before he got into his bushcraft was tracking and that's something I'd like to get into so I'm going to start trying looking out for signs of animals and various things like that and that's a skill I want to try and build upon so that's something you'll be able to see in the uh, up and coming months on some of my future videos okay we're going to crack on it's getting very boggy now keep going keep going that's it Woodpecker has been in there, yeah. is it? Yeah. Oh, now what have you found there? Oh, oh, What's that? What's this? Uh, mushrooms. Is it some kind of fungi? Yeah. Good spot. Oh, look, some more down here, look. Just there. Can you see it? Huh. It's all camouflage. Yeah. Nathan's found some fungi. Fungi. That's quite late, really, I would have thought. Look. Fungi. There. Yeah, good spot. Okay, keep going. I'll just turn this log over. There's some more on this side as well. A different kind. And next year I'll be looking out for fungi. A lot earlier. And I'm sure we'll be able to find loads. I know there's some shaggy ink caps at the approach to the wood. So we'll be able to find them next year. We found something, something else. What is it? It's just a stick. It's just a stick. Yeah. Is it? All right. All right. Keep going then. I've been down this walk a few times, and this stream around here is usually blocked. But I've just noticed all along here there's lots of wood and planks and all sorts that's been dragged out and thrown onto the side to clear the stream so the stream is flowing nicely now because it was getting really stagnant and now it's looking really good so hopefully that's going to attract more wildlife and it's going to be a more pleasant walk in the summer Does it bark? Yeah Yeah? Good boy Right, crack on we we'll have to come and do some foraging here. Signs of blackberries. Lots of them by the looks of things. So that's something I'll be able to check out. Some hawthorn there. Hawberries. So there's going to be lots of, lots of things to look for in these. It's only a very small wood. Um, We've got that track down there and the wood goes 
all the way down that way and all the way down that way you can't really see very well from here but it's not a massive wood but it's big enough and close enough for me to come and do some okay. good exploring check out that one like these two <laughs> don't be as noisy as these two though it's the 17th of December today so this is probably the, the last video of the year for me so I'd like to wish you wish you all a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year I look forward to submitting a lot more videos in the new year a lot more things in the pipeline I never got a chance to do me overnight due to the house move and the weather getting cold so I failed on that one but I've got next year to plan towards that I've got some new equipment that I'm going to be dead, uh, reviewing, testing so we've got that to come up uh, book reviews like I said uh, a bit more kit and uh, a lot more outings into these woods to see what we can find as the uh, seasons change so I'll uh, I'll say bye bye for now and uh, I'll see you next year on the next video see you later right you two down there now back into the woods <laughs>